Okay, so I'm reviewing some uh, new software here, Dragon Naturally Speaking. That's why I've got this thing on my head. And uh, let's just take a look and see what happens. I'm going to hit the plus. I've got Microsoft Word going in the background here. So let's see if this stuff can really understand me. I've done one training session. I think it was about, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe a thousand words, something like that. So this is version 11.5. Hitting the plus now. Plus is what turns it on. Okay, and so I'm going to try to start talking fairly normally uh, to the camera here, period. And you do have to say the word period so that it can stop the sentence, period. So um, I'm testing Dragon Naturally Speaking software. And the new software has a Southern English accent training mode where you can go in and speak with your Southern accent, which I have a Western North Carolina accent, period. I come from a place called Spruce Pine, North Carolina, period. That's up in the Appalachian Mountains of Western North Carolina, uh, period. Uh, although now I live in a place called Valdez, North Carolina, which is down in the Piedmont section of North Carolina, just in the foothills between Hickory and Morganton, North Carolina. Now, I'm trying to speak real normal and uh, not trying to pronounce my words too much differently than I typically would. I'm stammering and stuttering a little bit, so let's see how the software has done. In all fairness, period, I'll do that, should have said comma. In all fairness, this software probably should not do very well with the way that I've stammered and gone on. Uh, during this little demo, but let's see what it's done. Let's see if it's actually been able to follow most of what I have said. Of course, you've been watching it be being typed behind me, and it may have made some really funny mistakes. This software in the past has not done historically very well with my accent. So let's take a look and see if Dragon Naturally Speaking version 11.5 really can understand what a hillbilly kind of guy like me from North Carolina is trying to say to it, period. Okay, I can see that it thinks that Gollum or something is going on back here. <laughs> Let's take a look, see how close it can. Okay, so I'm going to try to talk to, uh, start talking fairly normally to the camera here. And you do have to say the word period. Okay, so it says that. So that it can stop since. I don't know what I said there. So I'm, I'm testing Dragon Naturally Speaking software and the new software has a Southern English accent training mode. We can go in and speak with her Southern accent, which I have a Western North Carolina accent. I came from a place called Spruce Pine, North Carolina. That's up in the Appalachian Mountains of Western North Carolina, although now they live in a place called Valdez. It says Valdez rather than Valdez. It's, that's perfectly understandable that it would do that. Uh, and just in the foothills between, I uh, even understood Piedmont, which I'm kind of surprised it did that, between Hickory and Morganton, North Carolina. Now I'm trying to speak real normal and not trying to pronounce my words too much differently than I typically would. I'm stammering and stuttering a little bit, so let's see how the software has been, in all fairness. Wow. What it is that should say, in all fairness, this software probably should not do very well uh, with the way I stammered, and as this golem was totally wrong, uh, during this little demo. But let's see what it's done to see if it's actually been able to follow most of what I said. Of course, you can watch it beat being typed. You can watch it. I don't know what I was saying there. Uh, some really famous stakes. Software and past has not been historically very well with my accent, so let's take a look and see if Dragon Natural Speech and for level five. What well, I'm a hillbilly guy like me from North Carolina. Trying to, you know, I have to say, uh, one session of training, which was about five minutes, uh, six or seven minutes maybe, and uh, the way I was just talking there, that's pretty good. Uh, I could try another one here. Let's try to talk just a little plainer maybe this time. Okay, once again, I'm going to hit the plus key. This time, I'm going to try to talk a little more plain, period. 
I'm going to try to make my sentences a little better structured, period. I would really like to see just how well this software functions, period. I would like to know that I can count on it in my place of employment, period. I work for Blue Ridge Healthcare, comma, which is a hospital system in Western North Carolina, period. Uh, in my position with Blue Ridge Healthcare, comma, I am a graphic designer, a videographer, a sound editor, a writer, and a web developer, period. Um, that's sort of a crazy little combination of things to do, period. It has a lot of responsibilities, and it gets pretty hectic, period. So now I'm trying to find out if I can make this new software work for me so that I can become more productive in my work, period. It may seem like I'm goofing off a little bit right now, but honestly, I'm just trying to test new software that could revolutionize the way I do my job, period. In particular, I think this software could really help me adding keywords to YouTube videos, descriptions to my YouTube videos, comma. It could also help me with uh, tags and such that go on inside Adobe Dreamweaver, which is a software package I use to create websites, period. I realize that I don't talk like most people talk, comma. In fact, I guess I have a pretty strange accent to most people, period. My accent, in fact, is not really a true Southern accent. It is more of what would be called a regional Appalachian accent, which many people think sounds like a Texan accent, period. I guess it comes from a combination of Southern English, Scott Irish ancestral English. Now that's a weird word for this thing to try to uh, translate ancestral, period. In just a minute, I'm going to turn around and see if we've done any better this next time, period. I understand from the Dragon Naturally Speaking uh, tutorial here that came with the software that the more you train this and the more you correct it, the better the software will become. So I look forward to doing some additional training with this software and seeing if it actually really will make a difference with the accuracy, period. That was a lot of text. Let's see how we did on that. I'm gonna zoom in on it. Let's see. Let's make it about 24 points so you can see it. So this time I'm going to try to talk a little more plain. I'm going to try to make my sentence is a little better structured sentences, okay? I would really like to see just how well the software functions. I would like to know that I can count on in my place of employment. I work for Blue Ridge Healthcare, which it got that, which is a hospital system in Western North Carolina. In my position with Blue Ridge Healthcare, I'm a graphic designer, a videographer, a sound editor, a writer, and a web developer. Now, I was kind of going fast at this point. That's sort of a crazy little combination of things to do. It, it's, got that wrong. It has a lot of responsibilities and it gets pretty hectic. So now I'm trying to find out if I can make this new software work for me so that I can become more productive in my work. It may seem like I'm goofing off a little bit right now, but honestly, I'm just trying to test new software that could revolutionize the way I do my job. In particular, I think this software could really help me adding keywords to YouTube videos, descriptions to my YouTube videos. It can also help me with tags and such that go on inside Adobe Dreamweaver, which is a software package I use to create websites. Wow, we're really doing good so far here. I realize that I don't talk like most people. In fact, I guess I have a pretty strange accent to most people. My accent is, or in fact, is not really a true Southern accent. It's more of what I what would be called a regional Appalachian accent, which people think sounds like a Texan accent. I guess it comes from a combination of Southern English, Scott Irish, Ancestral English. I don't know that I could spell ancestral. Um, that's a weird word for this thing to try to translate, ancestral. And in just a minimum turnaround, okay, that got that wrong. Uh, see if we didn't any better this next time. That, that was a failed sentence there. I understand from the Dragon Natural Speaking tutorial here 
that came with the software that the more you train this and the more you correct it, the better the software will become. So I look forward to doing some additional training with the software and see if it actually really will make a difference with the accuracy. Pretty sweet. So I'm going to say that right now with just the limited amount of training that I've given the software, it's a thumbs up. Pretty nice. I used this software back when it was like version 7 or 8. It did not get me. It did not catch, God, maybe maybe 65% of what I would say, 70% of what I would say. So um, if you have that kind of broadcast quality voice, I believe it's probably going to get about 95 to 98% accuracy with you. It looks like with me here uh, with an Appalachian regional sort of accent that this thing is still catching about, I would say, 90 to 92%. And that's going to really help the way that I do my job. I'm not here trying to um, advertise for it or anything. I just thought it would be interesting to run this YouTube video and let you see that, yeah, this, this could be good, especially for my southern friends, friends around here that think voice recognition software not, might not be able to work for you. It looks like probably this will. Good job, Dragon Naturally Speaking. I'm using the um, the premium version of this. I didn't buy it. My place of employment bought it, but hey, not bad. It works in Microsoft Word. I, I was doing some YouTube stuff here a while ago. I was uh, doing a, just testing a post to see. All you basically do is anywhere there's a text hole, you put the cursor in there and hit the plus key, which is the, the hot key for Dragon Naturally Speaking, and you just let fly, you just start talking. And it did really good in uh, YouTube a while ago. Um, I'm gonna use it probably on Facebook posts for our hospital Facebook pages. And let's see, I don't know, it's for anywhere I can use some text and add keywords and phrases and things that can help with search engine optimization, I'm gonna start doing that. Dragon Naturally Speaking, speech recognition software. I recommend it at this point. We'll give you more updates maybe at a later time.